So we have a little bit of a surprise for you. Holy cow. <laughs> so I want you to awesome. react to that video. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, Susie O here. I'm about to watch a millennial tell me how he happens to live on $118,000 a year and then I'm gonna tell him what I think about it. Ready to watch? Let's do it. Words can't really explain how free I feel now that I don't have any debt. I feel like a new person. I feel as if I could do anything. Before we even go on, I just want you all to take note, he said, he can't explain how it feels that he doesn't have any debt. This is literally like Susan, Susan Orman show, like 101 right there. Like literally, like when she goes and uh, introduces herself and stuff like that, she always has like a tagline or something and like, this is it. Like, hi, I'm Susie Orman, don't have any debt. This is awesome. Money plays a big part in my relationship with my girlfriend. I would say that she is more frugal than I am. Um, so there will be times where we want to do things, but she doesn't want to spend the money on it. You do all understand that one out of two people that get married, couples that get married, they end up in divorce. And the reason they end up in divorce is arguments over money. But when you both have the same financial values, then everything is great. Did you also notice that his girlfriend pays less in rent then he pays. Sometimes we'll go and we'll read the comments um, on the YouTube page. And one of the things that I got a lot of backlash on is how could you let Shawnee pay the rent and you know, you're the man, you should be paying all of it and things like that. But she actually brought up another good point is that she is paying um, rent appropriate to what she brings in. And the thing is that we did have a conversation before we even started to divide um, expenses. And that was one of the things that she felt comfortable paying. I used to watch the Susie Orman show every Saturday at 9 p.m. I really took that to heart and kind of used her as my unofficial mentor to really stay focused and stay motivated to really start my debt repayment. Now, obviously, no way. I didn't even know he watched me. I can't criticize somebody who, who, who really spent most of his time watching me. But here's what's really important. What Roy obviously heard me say in all the years he was watching me is that student loan debt is the most dangerous debt that you can have because in most cases, it's not dischargeable in bankruptcy. Yes. So if there was one debt that you really wanted to get out of, that would be your student loan debt. Student loan debt is one of those things that you can never get rid of. And it was because of her that I actually um, found that out, did a little bit of research and realized that she was right. I grew up in Connecticut and I actually started working at Cigna in Connecticut. Wait, I do just have to say one thing, which is, did you just notice that Cigna paid for his master's degree? That's a big deal. Cigna actually changed their reimbursement policy. So now um, if you don't go into one of their preferred programs, they're only capped at a certain amount to help you with your master's degree program. I'm very lucky because now uh, folks who are looking to get master's without getting into Cygnus preferred program will have to pay out of pocket. Brilliant move. I love this guy. You want to be my son. Oh my God. So proud of him anyway. <laughs> well, I already have a mother, but she could be definitely be my aunt. That's, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. Aunt Susie, that's who you are from now on. She, we're, that's family now. I think that I'm good with money. Um, I I believe I'm good with money. You know what? I know that I'm good with money. There you go. My friends look at me as their financial guru. Remember, your words and your thoughts have the power to create or the power to destroy, and the choice really is up to you. If you start out as a wimp, as he did a second ago, I think I'm good with money. Oh, maybe I'm good with money. Then. <laughs> That's also another thing that I, I took from Aunt Susie because she always makes sure that um, at the end of all of her shows that she she tells you that, you know, you can do it and you will do it. And so um, when I said that I think I'm good with money, I actually corrected myself because I was like, what would what would Susie say? And so that's why I changed it to say I am. I know that I'm good with money. 
Also, when it comes to helping friends, just be careful there. Because sometimes your friends can't quite do what you want them to do, and then you start judging them. So just be a little bit careful there, Roy, because sometimes people aren't as disciplined as you are. Just another good thing, and that is so true. You could give advice all you want, but it's really up to the person to, to take it. If I were to be grading you, Roy, I would have to tell you, I would be giving you an A++++. The only thing I don't know is, do you have a will? Do you have a living revocable trust and advanced directive and a durable power of attorney for health care? I don't have any of those right now, but I will be doing that um, in 2021. Everyone call me like Mr. Orman and stuff like that to, to actually see her actually say that I'm doing a good job. That, that means the world to me because that's one of the things that I really tried to do was to ensure that not only did I that I put myself in a, in a good position, that the things that I learned, I, I'm able to pass down. My celebrity went up, like it went insane for like the first like, maybe like two weeks or so. EA Sports actually reached out to me and we were just talking about how different ways we could get involved, whether it's advertisement or something for the sins. Also, the authors of my Jamaican cookbook actually reached out to me on Instagram too. And so we were chatting back and forth as well too because they were super pumped, super hyped on their end as well too. So we've had some good conversations as well. So um, a lot of people have been reaching out. My role actually changed and so I was able to secure another raise, really took it to a whole nother level. Just from like a financial situation, even from like Shawnee's perspective, she got bumped up at least 20K in her current position. That really allowed me to move to New York and not really worry about rent or anything like that because we were able to get a, a rent stabilized apartment for less than $3,000 a month. I bought a car, so you know I'm able to, to travel and stuff like that, but I followed Susie's rule. It's a used car, but I have the money in the bank to pay it off. I just wanted to, to kind of just show that it doesn't matter where you are, you can still achieve the goals that you want to, and things like this can happen to just like regular folks because uh, when I tell you I'm just regular, I'm just regular. And for all of this to happen and more, definitely a blessing.